Hello YouTube, this is Golden Eba one here and today we're going to be looking at how we can boost our frames per second in Fortnite. With its cartoonish styled graphics, Fortnite may seem like a game which isn't demanding, however it requires a lot of memory to run smoothly which may have an impact on your performance in game. This video will be split into four parts, with the first part being computer maintenance, which will involve physical things you can do to your computer or laptop. The second part will be computer upgrades, where I suggest some parts you can buy for better performance in Fortnite. The third part will be system management, which will focus on background programs that may be having an impact on your performance in game. And the fourth and final part will be the in-game settings where we can look at the graphic options and look at what we can tweak in game. Timestamps will be available in the description down below for any returning viewers who wish to refer to specific parts of the video. But without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So first off, let's look at computer maintenance. No matter how old or young your laptop or computer may be, looking after it is vital not just for performance, but also longevity. Whilst your computer is running, cool air as well as dust will be drawn into the case, and the buildup of dust within your computer will lead to heating problems slowing it down, and if you're using a laptop, then it may lead to automatic shutdowns. This is why I recommend buying compressed air and cleaning your computer grills, fans and interior. You can do the same with your laptop by opening up the back, but however, I must warn you that if you do so, you will void any warranty that you have on your laptop, meaning that the manufacturer may not be able to repair it. If you have problems with your laptop, take it back to the manufacturer first before taking matters into your own hands. To help with the cooling process, reapplying thermal paste to your CPU can help improve the efficiency of heat transfer from the surface of your CPU to your CPU cooler. As for some bonus advice, making sure that you have no cables in the way of your fans is important for allowing cool air to come in and warm air to leave undisturbed, so make sure your cable management is good. If your laptop has a cool air intake on the back, then you could use bottle caps or a laptop cooler to raise it off the surface of your desk. This way, you'll be able to take in more cool air. Moving on, let's look at the recommended parts for Fortnite, which are the following. A Core i5 with 2.8GHz, 8GB of memory and an NVIDIA GTX 660, or an AMD Radeon HD 7870 with 2GB of VRAM. So if you're thinking of buying a computer, make sure they at least match or beat these requirements. If you're just looking to upgrade your current computer, I would highly recommend buying an SSD and reinstalling Windows 10 and Fortnite onto it. What this will do will allow anything you put on this SSD to boot a lot faster, meaning shorter loading times in Fortnite. Also, upgrading your RAM will give your PC a lot more memory to play with, and especially if you run other programs in the background whilst playing Fortnite, such as some sort of streaming or recording software. So, as I mentioned at the start of this video, Fortnite can take a chunk of your available memory, and managing what systems are running in the background is vital, and let's see why. Start to run Fortnite and then right click on your taskbar and click Task Manager or search it into Windows. How much memory is being consumed whilst Fortnite is running will vary from system to system, but we're going to focus on how we can lower this number. First off, I would highly recommend ending any programs that you're not using. Things like Steam, Cortana, Skype, etc, etc, they can consume a considerable amount. Now I'm sure you wouldn't want to be doing this every time you start to play Fortnite and most programs start running as soon as you boot up your computer. But there is a way to prevent this. Just go to your task manager again, but this time go to the startup tab and here you can disable programs from starting up when your computer boots up. I understand that many of you run Discord whilst playing Fortnite to chat to friends while you could just use the in-game voice chatting system, this may be of an inconvenience to some of your squad mates, but there is a feature within Discord that you can disable which will improve your frames per second in-game. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open up Discord. Next, on the bottom left side just next to your username, just go and click user settings, and then you want to go to appearance. Just scroll down and then you'll see this feature called Hardware Acceleration. Just make sure that this is disabled. The last thing you can do is changing your power plan options by searching in power plan in Windows and then setting it to high performance. Clearly it will increase your performance but your computer will use more electricity. For those on laptops, it may mean that your battery will run out a lot quicker so when on this option, make sure you are charging it. 
our fourth and final part are the in-game settings. The first thing you have to do at this point is to put all your settings down to low. If you want to maintain some quality, then medium should do fine. Do make sure you put your distance on epic though so that you can still see objects and enemies from a far distance. However, can I stress turning off shadows? This is because every object in game generates a shadow which will cause FPS drops in game. So make sure this is turned off to relieve some pressure of your GPU. The render quality can be lowered which will drastically degrade the looks of the game but it will also increase your frames per second. I would only suggest turning this right down if you desperately need those frames since it can be counterproductive and make it even harder to see enemies. Playing on windowed mode and lowering the display resolution will also increase your frames per second. What I do encourage you guys to do is to play around with these settings and see what works with you. You may need to make some compromises but as long as the end result is a smooth running game then it's all good. But that will conclude it for this FPS boost guide. If you have any other tips on increasing your FPS, then why not leave them in the comments section down below so that we can all benefit. If you have enjoyed this video or benefited from this video, don't forget to like and share it with your friends. And also, if you are new to this channel, why not subscribe today to receive some more golden quality content. But nonetheless guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.